general feeling because that's in the columns and the stories and the uh, newspaper articles and, and so on and so forth and they, of course when they talk to him they come run back and talk to us and so forth and, uh, I think there's another tack too I think you know, talk to him about the new pause that's been proposed the New York Times proposed the pause and Mac has kind of had his feeling to pause I understand he's talked to you about the pause now if we had any indication of pause would do any good, be fine. But we're afraid that if we do pause, we got hell hit, knocked out of us while it did. I think the American people would be awfully critical of us. Oh, I don't think now's the time. And I just think we ought to talk to him about it because uh, 
this is where most of our real trouble's coming from. It goes back, if you'll remember, to the real flare-up came on this uh, state with this 700 million. Yeah, right. uh, and uh, that's, uh, my, my intelligence people tell me that that's, that's the backbone of it, and since it's your 700 million, and since you heard the Ford thing, and since you know that sure. uh, we think that uh, it's all right for them to have made it, we don't object to McGovern and Church and them. If they want to say these things, say them. We don't agree with them. We don't think they help. But we have never asked one senator not to speak, and we have asked him. Now, we put on the pause, but see what else he thinks ought to be done. I think that's very potentially dangerous. Uh, to our general cause on Vietnam. I think that in time, it's going to be like the jail professor said, that uh, it's going to be difficult for us to, very long, prosecute effectively a war that far away from home with the divisions that we have here, and particularly the potential divisions. And uh, that's really had me concerned for a month, and I'm very depressed about it because I see no program from either defense or state gives me much hope of doing anything except just praying and gasping to hold on during the monsoon and hope they'll quit. I don't believe they're ever going to quit, and I, I don't see how, how do we have any way of either, it, either a plan for victory militarily or diplomatically. And I think that's something that you and Dean got to sit down and try to see if there's any people that we have in those departments that can give us any program or plan or hope or uh, yeah. if not uh, we got to see if we have you go out there or somebody else go out there and take one good look at it and say to these new people now you changed the government about the last time and uh, this is it call the Buddhists and the Catholics and the general and everybody together and say we're going to do our best and be sure they're willing to let new troops come in and be sure they're not going to Present them. If not, why uh, you all can run over us and, and uh, have a uh, government of your own choosing. But uh, we we just can't take these uh, changes all the time. And, and that's the Russell plan. Russell thinks we ought to take one of these changes to get out of there. I don't think we can get out of there with our treaty like it is and with what all we've said. And uh, I think it would just lose us the face of the world. Say, but uh, 